okay to implement nested serializers let's create a new app let's not use employee example we will actually create a new app called blocks okay so run python manage dot py start app and call it blocks okay so when once you create blocks let me close all the tabs and uh, okay so my blogs app is created i'll go to rest main and settings.py and register my blogs app all right so let's create a relationship between the blog and the comment models so for that we of course need to create the models go to models.py and create a class blog which will say models you know which will extend models dot model and let's go with the very simple block title and body block title is equal to models dot that field max length is equal to let's say 100 all right now let's say blog underscore body is equal to models dot let's use a text field all right define str pass in self and make the string representation of this blog model self dot blog title i'm sorry blog title all right we are done with this blog class we will say comment class so this will also inherit models dot models dot model and blog is equal to you know we need to create a relationship between this blog and the comment model right so because you know one blog can have multiple comments for that reasons we will say models dot foreign key okay foreign key blog comma on delete on delete is equal to models dot cascade okay models dot cascade because if the blog got deleted then this uh, comment should also get deleted right so for that reason we use uh, on delete this should happen models dot cascade comma we need to also specify a related name all right a related name so the related name will be comments okay related name will be comments all right now we'll have the comment field which will be models dot text field and if you want to create str method again str pass in self and return self dot comment all right so uh, once you are done with this uh, we will go to admin dot py and let's say from dot models import blog comma comment blog comma comment and you know what after this we'll have to register this right admin dot site dot register you know blog after this we'll uh, register blog model as well all right so because we have created the models we'll have to write make migrations and migrate make migrations then we'll run migrate all right at this point we have created the tables in the database and let's go to admin login and where is yeah here it is right we have blocks and comments all right in the next video let's create the serializers for our blog and comment model